Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we've got a half-life problem. I do love these. We've got a half-life of um, strontium-90 is 25 years. Okay, so that's our H value. H is 25 years. How long will it take for a 12 milligram sample to decay to a mass of eight? Okay, well, I'm just estimating, right? 12, half of 12 is six, so it's gotta be less than 25 years, right? Because one half-life would take 25 years and that would go from 12 to six, but we're only getting down to eight, right? We're not reaching that point there. So there's many different ways to approach half-lives many ways to deal with this. And I think I'm gonna use a base of E. Why not? That's what we're using in our textbook. I'll be consistent with that. So the mass after a given time equals a mass that we start with times E to the negative RT. And R equals the natural log of two um, over H. Okay, so that means, so here H is our half-life. We have a starting mass of 12 milligrams. That's the, m sub zero times e to the negative ln of two over 25 times some amount of time. And that will get us, um, that'll get us to eight. So how do we do that? Well, we'll divide both sides by 12, eight over 12, and that's gonna equal e to the negative ln of two over 25 times t. That's a t, sorry. Then take the natural log of both sides. Now, what's nice about this is then we just get the natural log of two over, negative natural log of two over 25 equals t. And to solve for this, we can multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction on both sides. In other words, we can multiply by 25 over the natural, the inverse of the natural log of two. So we get this thing, natural log of eight over 20, 12 times the eight over 12, we can reduce that. I don't think, I don't know that it makes my life easier, but I feel inclined to reduce it's two thirds times 25 over the negative natural log of two equals T. Now I can't really figure this out, but uh, I sometimes have an issue with the calculator if I enter the negative natural log. So I'm just gonna, in my calculations, I'm gonna leave this negative sign out and then just enter the opposite value, right? Because you're, you're multiplying by one negative value in there and just invert everything. So let's do that, natural log of two divided by three, boom, times 25, okay, divided by the ln of two, boom, and then invert that times negative one, and that's our answer, about 14.62 years. Now, maybe you don't wanna do it that way, maybe you're like, Sean, this just doesn't make any sense, let's use, we're using half-life, which is a base of a half, all right. Well, the mass that we have over a given, after a given amount of time, we start off somewhere and then we multiply it by a half over and over again. And how many times do we, do we half it, right? That's really the question here. And we know that, every, we know the half-life is essentially every 25 years. So how many 25s do we need to do to get to our point there? Right, what, how much time needs to pass in order to get where we need to go. So here, let's see if this works. 12 equals eight halved, nope, nope, other way around, Sean. Uh, eight equals 12 halved, some amount of times. And again, the reasoning is if, if 25 years pass, if T is 25, then this whole exponent would be 25 over itself or one, and that would represent one half life. So. Um, that's some of the thinking here. But we don't know what T is, we wanna solve for it. So I divide both sides by 12, and again, I get 2 thirds equals 1 half to the T over 25. So here, we can take the logarithm of both sides to solve this. I'll use a logarithm with a base of 0.5. So base five of 2 thirds equals the log base 0 0.5 of one half to the t over 25. This on the right here, this is just um, t over 25. It's just that exponent equals the log base 0.5 of two thirds. So t, here we go, t equals the log base 0.5 of two thirds times 25, and this should be the same thing. Let's see how it works out. You go to math, 
log base. My base is 0.5 and it's of two thirds. Enter times 25 and we get the same thing, 14.62. That's another way of thinking about it. But the idea is you can actually get the same answer uh, with different bases. All right, I hope this helped.